Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple of weeks, had a lot going on, and didn't get the time to record until this week. Today I am doing a painting of some stargazer lilies. I took these, I took a picture of these lilies last week. They were in the garden of the elderly lady I sit with during the day. And her birthday is coming up next week. And coincidentally, I asked my fiance, what should I paint? And he said, something in season. Let's do lilies. I said, well, I have the perfect picture to go off of. So I've started sketching on straight onto the canvas. I did not have any patience to try and draw them out beforehand. So I just went straight on into it. I grabbed a pencil for my cart, a little HB pencil from one of those art boxes you get for gifts that contains really subpar art supplies and I just kept the pencil. I don't really know why and I usually am used to just drawing with any kind of pencil that I can grab a hold of. And I'm just sketching everything out and getting it ready for paint and trying to make sure that the composition is the way I want it. I'm trying to work a little bit on my composition and get it better so that I don't regret painting it later on. After I finish my sketch, I am starting in with some of the leaves. I went in with this little green yellow color and I ended up covering it up, but it was just going to be a base layer anyways. So I just went with it and I actually started painting before I hit record on my camera and I apologize for that. You didn't miss out on anything though. I just painted a couple of leaves. And as you could tell from the quotes that I have put in the video, I wanted to touch base a little bit about dealing with the crippling feeling of having to produce perfect art. As an artist, I see other work from other artists and I love following other artists on social media and I get really inspired by a bunch of the ones that I frequent on my Instagram and it's so easy to fall into that well their art's better than mine they can draw people better than i can their landscapes are far beyond what i could ever do and those are very familiar because i've said them before maybe not out loud probably in my head but it happens and i think it happens to all of us and if I'm wrong, put it in the comments. But as for me, I struggle with perfection. I want every brush stroke to be immaculate. I want it to be clean. I want it to be blended. And I want certain parts of it to be very crisp. And I would say that I almost chase realism, even though coincidentally, that's not really my style is realism. But that's kind of what I chase. I want that picture to come to life on canvas. And I want it to be as accurate as possible. And I would not say that's not realistic. In time, it could be realistic. But for me right now, it's not. And that's not my work. I don't want my paintings to look exactly like they were printed out on a canvas. Like I just copied them. 
And people who can do hyperrealism, I give you a round of applause because that is a lot of work. But it's easy to fall into that chasm of perfectionism to always hate your work because it's not perfect. And that is kind of what the goal was here in this painting was I made mistakes and I don't know if you noticed any of them but I did make mistakes in this painting and I did my very best not to beat myself up about it. I went for an abstract look with these for a reason. I wanted to give myself a little more grace about my mistakes and not beat myself so, up so hard about it because I know where my art is currently at the moment and if you look on my Instagram most of my artwork is pen and pencil that is the medium that I've always done is paper and pencil when I started drawing that's all I had I would sneak a, an extra notebook into my parents buggy when we went school shopping and that was my sketch notebook and I never used any of the fancy sketchbooks or anything like that until I guess junior year in high school so I'd already been drawing quite a lot prior to that and so painting is difficult for me in many ways and I want to continue learning how to get better how to get colors right how to get my shading and my lighting the way I want it to be but I am currently not at the place where I need to be beating myself up about it I need to analyze and problem solve and look at these paintings and say well what can I do better next time I may not paint the same things over and over again but I can work and figure out what I'm missing and get it to where I'm happy with it. Perfectionism is not a bad thing. It's not bad to want your stuff to be perfect, but you need to find a way to be okay with it when it doesn't end up perfect. Because it won't take long. Once you start giving in to those ex and that high expectation, you'll start caving and you'll start fearing putting that paintbrush to, uh, to canvas. You'll fear putting pencil to paper or pen to paper, which I am terrified of, by the way. And the best thing you can do for your need for perfectionism is to show up. To just show up and do it. Even though you're afraid of messing up, you're afraid of dis uh, just ruining this beautiful canvas. You look at this canvas and you think, oh my goodness, there are so many things that I can do with this. And there are so many ways I can screw it up. And it's not healthy to think like that. The best thing you can do for yourself is to show up. Even when you're afraid, even when you desperately want it to be perfect and you fear of messing up, you just need to show up. And that's what I did. I did not want to paint. I wanted to play on my phone until about 11 o'clock and go to bed. And I said, you know what? I need to paint. I need to put something on canvas. I don't care what it is. And this ended up being the perfect opportunity to provide a birthday gift for an elderly woman that I care very deeply about. And it is something from her garden and she doesn't get to go out there very much anymore. And I look forward to giving this to her to give her that little ray of happiness that she gets a piece of her garden forever. And that would have not happened 
if I stood there and looked at that canvas and said, I'm not going to paint today. I'm going to mess it up. It's not going to be perfect. And I'm going to ruin it. That wouldn't have not happened. I would have never achieved this, uh, this painting and been able to provide something for somebody I care about if I had just walked away. If I had just done what I wanted to do that night instead of painting. And that is my little piece of advice to you is when in doubt, when in fear, just show up and just do it. Because the longer you wait, the longer you put it off, the longer you sit and contemplate and just stir up all sorts of negative emotions over just a canvas, you could just do it and revel in the fact that you did it even when you didn't want to. And you've grown. Even if it's just a little bit, you've grown in the process. And I guess that is the end of my ramble. Here is me adding some satin varnish by Gamblin. And it was very satisfying. I never used varnish before. I've always used spray and with the humidity in the south, I have been stewing because I cannot spray anything right now. And I've got so many paintings I wanna spray, mainly watercolor. But this varnish saved this painting's life because I was able to just put it right on there as soon as it was dry and I don't have to worry about waiting on the humidity to get below 65%, which is very hard to do <laughs> when you're in the South. If you ever come to Alabama, just be prepared. Have a couple of towels. It's always humid here. But this wraps up my painting process. Here's the final look. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.